Welcome! In front of me is a Motorola Edge 40 Neo and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now that being said, this will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. So I'm going to lock the device and you can see I do have a pattern set. So I'll progress from the lock screen as though I don't know my pattern. And number one, we will need to turn off our device. Now, I don't think we will be able to do that right here, but I'm going to check it. So as you've seen me do, I'm pulling down the notifications. I have a power button right here and let's see, power off. Yeah, so it asks me to draw the pattern. So uh, what we're going to do is hold our power button and volume down at the same time. Now, you do want to be interacting with the display because it will time out after like, several seconds. Come on, are you going to time out now? or not apparently. So in any case, you want to hold both of these buttons. Disregard the screenshot, keep holding. Once the screen turns off, you want to then switch to volume up instead of the volume down. Okay, so there we go. So when the screen turns off, it means that the device got basically rebooted. That's what we're pressing the buttons for. Now it looks like once the Motorola logo shows up, you probably want to let go of the power button. If we hold it for too long, it still turns off. Nope, it looks like it's still booting up. So, that being said, I'm gonna do that once more. And it looks like it's still volume down. So we're holding power key, volume down. It should turn off. Oh. It timed out anyway. I think it also turned off. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, it's volume down instead. So my bad for misleading you. So once the screen turns off, you want to start holding your power button. Oh, you already were holding power button volume down. Screen turns off. Uh, I did let go of them and start holding them again. And this will then boot me straight into the bootloader. Now in here, using volume buttons either up or down, you want to select recovery mode. So it's visible right here. And then confirm it with the power button. Next, we will see Android with no command. So to get past this, you're going to hold your power button and while holding it, you're going to press volume up once. Like so. And this will redirect us to the recovery mode. In here, again, using volume buttons to navigate, you want to select wipe data factory reset. When it's selected, confirm it with the power button. Select factory data reset. And as you can see, at the bottom, we will see data wipe complete. Reboot system now will be selected by default at that point. So you just need to press power button once again. This will initiate a reboot and continue the factory reset of the device in the background. Now, because it is continuing, it's going to take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. So just be patient. Once it's completed, we'll then be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.